in the previous video I created this search function and in this video I will create count function to count the number of nodes present in the linked list. Now count function will print the number of nodes present in the linked list. For example in this linked list there are four nodes and counting will begin from the first node till the last node. Here I have declared the count function. This function takes one argument. We have to pass the value of start into this function because start is the entry point into the linked list. So count function should know the value of start. This printf statement will display a message to the user that enter 6 to count. Now case 6 this is the function call this function will be called with the value of start so the value of start will be passed into the count function when this function will be called so everything in the main function is done and now i am going to create or define the count function now first declare a variable to keep track of the number of nodes. So int count equals to 0. I have initialized it to 0. Here I have declared a pointer variable p and assigned p the value of start. Now this while loop is used to count the number of nodes. Now initially p will store the value of start which is the address of the first node so p means first node now the value of count will be zero initially now this while loop means that as long as the value of p is not equal to null keep on executing this loop and according to this example p is not equal to null p is equal to 1002 so this while condition is true so these two statements will get executed p link means link part of this node which is the address of the next node so the address of the next node which according to this example is 1005 will be assigned to p so p now means this node then this statement will increment the value of count by 1 so count will become 0 plus 1 equals to 1 then again this while condition will be checked this time also p is not equal to null this condition is true so this statement will get executed now p link means link part of this node which is the address of the next node so the address of the next node will be assigned to p so p is now storing the address of this node so p means this node then count plus plus this statement will increment the value of count by one so count will become one plus one equals to two Now again this while condition will be checked, this time also p is not equal to null, condition is true so this statement will get executed, p link means link part of this node which is the address of the next node, so the address of the next node will be assigned to p, so p now means this node. This statement will again increment the value of count by 1, so count will become 2 plus 1 equals to 3. Now again this while condition will be checked. P is not equal to null. So this while loop is still true. So this statement will be executed. Now P link means link part of this node. And link part of this node is equal to null. So null will be assigned to P. So P is now equal to null. And this statement will again increment the value of count by 1. 
so count will become equal to 4 now again this while condition will be checked and this time p is equal to null so this while condition becomes false so this while loop will be terminated and the control will move to this statement and this printf statement will print number of nodes 4 because the value of count is 4 now if there are no nodes in the linked list if the linked list is empty then the value of start will definitely be null and here null will be assigned to p because the value of start will be null and this while condition will become false because p will be equal to null so this while loop will get terminated and the control will move to this statement and number of nodes 0 will be printed because the value of count in that case will remain equal to 0 so this is the end of this count function and now let's check this program now at this point the link list is empty so if I enter 6 to count then it should print number of nodes 0 now let me enter some nodes so there are four nodes now I enter 6 to count and it prints number of nodes 4 so this was all about count function and in my next video I will show you how to add nodes in between nodes of a linked list so that's all for now and thanks for watching.